In this video we're going to look at the distinction between two problems and understanding this distinction is really important because um, a lot of kids get very confused between these two types of problems and these two types of problems can be worded in countless different ways um, in terms of different situations but if you really understand the, the key distinction between the two then you'll be um, you'll be much more successful. So let's look at the first problem it says says, Ms. Adams is forming a freshman steering committee of three students, which will include a president, vice president, and secretary. She has five students to choose from to form this committee. How many ways can she do it? So the way I like to view this is whenever possible, I like to imagine view, uh, putting people in rows. And so like, let's say slot one in this row would be the president. So the president's going to stand there once I choose him and then the vice president's going to stand here and then the uh, secretary's going to stand here so how many ways can I choose I mean I've got five students to choose from how many ways can I choose the president that would be five five ways to choose him or her and then the vice president now that I've chosen a president there's only four options and then at that point there's only three for the secretary so the answer is five times four times three which is equal to um, which is equal to 20 times 3 is 60 okay compare that to the next question by the way notice that I, I really all I use is the, the multiplication principle so again I've mentioned this before but the multiplication principle is really at the heart of everything that's in this this section Miss Adams is former committee a freshman steering committee of three students she has five students to choose from to form this committee. How many ways can she do this? Now, the, what makes this problem a little more complicated when you compare it to six is that we're not choosing a vice, a president, a vice president, and a secretary. In other words, I can't really do this whole slots business because we're just forming three people, and there's nothing really special about those people. In 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 that, I can't I can't really line them up in any special way. I just need to pick three of them. So we need to view this in a different way. And so the next slide, I think, is going to help you see the, the better way to view this. So imagine lining, so we're, we're picking a committee of three people from a, from a possible five. So imagine lining the five students up in a row like I've done here. And we make five cards. We put a, a C on three of them and an R on two of them. And we say that C is going to stand for choose and R stands for reject. So if I place the card below the person and that, that card is a C, that means I'm going to choose that person for my committee. And so if you view it like that, so here's one particular arrangement right here. I mean, I could this would mean pick the first person, not the second, pick the third and the fourth, and not the fifth. Okay, and so all the, all the number of ways to arrange those C's and R's should give me the number of ways to form the committee. Okay, and that's basically all I said here. And so the reason that's useful is because we've sort of changed the problem to be one that we've solved before. Because finding the number of committees of three people is the same as asking. I'm going gonna, gonna to do this blank down here because I don't really have much room to write. It's the same as asking how many ways can we arrange the letters. How many ways can we arrange the letters? Uh, C, 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 R, R. Because every arrangement of that, of those sequence of letters, would result in picking, picking a committee. So in, in other words, like this, C, 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 R, R, would mean I pick the first three, the, the, the black person, the, uh, the maroon person, and the red person. But we know the answer to this question, right? We know the answer is simply, well, pretend they're all different, five factorial, and then divide by the repeats, three factorial times two factorial. And that's our answer whatever number that turns out to be. So we actually can do this um, by hand, but I'm not. But that's not the point right now. We'll, we'll deal with putting this into the calculator later or, or solving it by hand. What I want to point out is that if I were to have pick a committee of 
of, let's say, our people from a possible n total uh, then we do that by let's see if I write this right here n factorial divided by r factorial and now what was special about the 3 and the 2 is that they added up to 5 so n minus r factorial okay so that in general just move this over a little bit that in general is going to tell me the number of ways to arrange uh, or to pick r people from a group of n so in, in my our problem over here our r was equal to 3 and over here our n was equal to 5 and obviously 2 was equal to n minus r because it's 5 minus 5 minus 3 now this sometimes had so this is this is a key formula sometimes it uh, it's uh, you'll see it written like this n r in parentheses and that's often pronounced n choose r because you're you have n and objects and you're choosing r of them um, but it's also sometimes written uh, written in this form an n a big c and then an r okay so those all just mean the same thing but the key thing to remember is this this right here all right so that would be the answer to to our original problem involving miss adams choosing a committee of three.